Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hello to my friends all over the world. Good morning, USA. Good morning, Philippines. Good evening, Europe. Good evening, Middle East. And good evening, Africa. So, good evening in Europe to my friends there. Beauty Forever in the Marge. Melanie Smack, Sandy Jr. Good evening to all of you over there. Thank you so much for unending support. And in Middle East, good evening, good evening. Especially in Saudi Arabia. Good more, good evening. Yeah, good yeah, good evening. Oh my God, I almost forgot it's evening. So, to Mayet Duliete, to Bai Ayan, thank you so much, Bai, for always supporting me. And to my colleagues, former colleagues in Prince Sultan Medical City, good evening to all of you. So, today... You know, it's been a while that I'm not showing you my, my plants, my, you know, my plants collection here. So, unfortunately, the flowers of my orchid is fading away. Some of them are, like, fall down. So, what can I do? But I'm so happy because there's another new leaf that growing. So they're still continuing growing and some of them I'm I cut some of their spike because it's no longer useful and I want them to bloom again but I don't know when it's gonna bloom again I guess it will bloom like after six months so as you can see here there is a humidifier I guess maybe I collected like 90 plants here in my house. Yes, 90 plants, including my orchid. So, as you can see, I every morning, this is my routine. I'm misting them, and then I have ventilation for them, you know, for them to feel that they are in the wild because that's their nature. And if you can see here, I have a humidifier. I always have a humidifier to my plants. I want them to have humid. So here you go. That's the reason why I, you know, I put a cover in my furniture because the water damaged the the wood furniture so my husband doesn't like it <laughs> so i just put a cover like a waterproof cover and as you can see over there i have an antarium i'm planning to replant this one because it's getting bigger and bigger and have a lot of flowers but you know I need to buy a soil. Maybe this week I'm gonna repot it. So, this one, this is the tallest spike that I have in my orchid. So, as you can see, it's only one flower left in here. So, when this flower will fall, I'm gonna cut this spike. And then now, you know, as you can see here, it's now ready to have another another new leaf in here. This one, yeah. And even the other one, the flower is not yet finished, but, you know, give me another leaf. So, they're healthy and I'm happy. Even with flowers or without flowers, it makes me so happy. So, yeah. So, some of them don't have 
this one the blue one it's been a while here you know it's like two months that has a flower and still has a flower until now it's two months yeah and this other one the indigo color i i have this here in my house for like couple of months i guess my husband bought for me this one for our wedding anniversary it's like june 18 and now it's august so the flower is here is stayed for a while like two months and here you go i have another orchid here and sad to say look at the flower and the other flower too so they're about to fall anyway the fall is coming so what can i do so and this one the produce another leaf this is a new leaf so so i'm glad that some of the some of them you know produce a new leaf this one has a new leaf too this is a new leaf so happy for that one and the other one has one too this one it's a late bloomer still giving me flower even I cut the spike so and I have another one here who give me a new leaf too this one so, so I have this humidifier here because I have a plant that's sensitive too sensitive the one I humid here in my house and they are sensitive for a direct light as well. So it's plants has a different characteristic. And this one too, still have a flower, still, still giving me a nice flower. Yeah, this one still blooming. Even I cut the yeah this one even i cut the spike and still have another one bud so hopefully again next spring they're gonna give me another another bunch of flower and some of my kala lily here you know they're getting bigger and bigger And I propagate some of my photos here. They're getting taller and taller too. So, so these are the plants that really very sensitive. This one, I bought this one when it's really so small. And now it's, you know, growing. And the other one too, but they need humid. So... That's the reason why, you know, I have always humidifier inside my plants because they really need a humid. So as you can see here, I have my plants over there. Up. And I have here my little cacti and I am always planning to repot this one but until now I still in an in an old path I don't know where I'm gonna repot it so here I have this one this is my favorite I'm waiting for this one to to grow up so it's nice and I have my money plant here we call this jade plant and I have this succulent here and I have another succulent here too and I have a fig oh this is a rubber plant here yeah 
and here my succulent too so this one is a lavender I don't know when I bought this one there was a flower but now this just they just keep on growing you know and not giving me flower and this one I thought I thought this one will die but it survived it's, it's giving me more and more leaves so good and I have this elephant ear and I have this Japanese fern here actually this Japanese fern was in my bird's room but unfortunately I don't want the birds to ruin this plant because they're just gonna jump here and you know damage the leaves so I have another succulent here and I'm waiting for this succulent to give me flowers maybe on December But it's not easy to have plants because, you know, it takes a lot of your time. So I have this, my, this is my biggest uh, photos. I just try to cut and propagate and the other snake plant here this one is an indian um, indian lemongrass and unfortunately my birds damage it so i remove this one to the room and move it here so i propagate some of my photos here this one and I have another one here. So these are all my plants collection. <laughs> uh, a lot. I still have plants inside my bird's room so i'm gonna show it to you and i have this herb plant here this one is easy to manage you only soak it in a water once once a week and they're fine yeah so this coming fall i am um, anticipating that this orchids you know will not bloom anymore but hopefully on next spring i have another bunch of flower here inside my house back to my room mega mega shout out to rhoda's adventure mega mega shout out to Discovery Bisaya vlog, mega mega shout out to Zeline's vlog, mega mega shout out to Indai Eva. Thanks for everyone, thanks for watching. Until to my next video, have a great day everyone, bye.